What's up guys? Hello and welcome back to Tale of Immortal. I'm just grinding out some quests here real quick for our sect. Um, my goal is to get enough uh, points to get our, our blade up to 240 because that's the level you need to be to apply to be like a, a true disciple. Um, I will have to remember to check whether or not I can beat a true disciple because we might not be able to beat them in the uh, in the fights we have to do. I'm not sure on that, but we'll check. Okay. Yeah, but I'm just gonna grind some quests here and I'll uh I'll connect back with you guys once we turn these in and uh buy a bunch of fruit. So I'll uh, see you guys then. Alright, we're back. I've done a little bit of grinding. Um I've been getting uh some fruit for us to consume. We can see our our, our blade is now at two twenty two. We need to be at 240, I believe, to take the True Disciple test. Now, what I don't know is, is there a True Disciple that I can beat? I think there's a lot of True Disciples I can beat. I also don't know why I just got tabbed out here. A lot of these guys are on their last breath. Like, they're they're dying. Holy cow, we've lost a, our, we are we are pretty damn weak. Our, our leader's strong, but we're pretty damn weak. Um, so yeah, I, I can sneak up and become a true disciple. It's, it's definitely possible. Uh, which of these fruits do I care about buying out, but I don't mind being a little behind on? We can fall behind on our, our wind here. Six of those, sounds good. We'll go to the Behemoth Peak, and we are going first let's talk to the guy. How you doing, man? You doing good? He's doing good. Let's feed him all of the bambuki stuff we've been getting. Now, can I feed you any more? All right. Well, I want blade. Four blade fruits. That gets me to what's that? Twelve. So twelve to that. We are two fruit from actually being able to do something. Um, I guess we'll go... How close are we to the... Oh god, there's still some time before we get new missions. Well, let's recuperate. Um, while we wait for new missions, I'm gonna check out this land of no return that's right by us. Let's see what this stuff is for. As I ride away on my egg. So you need focus to break the seal here. Let's enter this. Is this something for our level, or is it next level? There's an array core. I don't think this is our level. I think this is something for our next level, 100%. Well, fuck. All right, I'm gonna die. I can't stop it, because I can't escape, so. My only hope is that enough enemies come that I can sustain myself off of the one damage we do each time we hit one of them. Which is a fallacy. It's not going to happen. Alright, so whatever this land is, we can't do it with our current level. Alright, take me. Take me. Blood Demon took it. Um, okay. Yeah, so we, we can't go into those regions. That's a, a hard pass. So what are those? Land of No Returns. Let's not do those. We need to do instead the Land of the Beyonds, which are north of us. So that, that's going to be something we're not going to want to engage with in the future. But now we know. And now I have to wait it's quite some time, I think, until our imps are um, ready. Don't mind some dual cultivation, sure. Bunch of key. Oh, you got me another mine thing. This is level golden core, though, which is not good. That's level three. 
These are also all unusable. Some of these are usable. Why am I, why am I getting bad shit? Also, why is my inventory so fucking full? Okay, these need to be discarded. Well, I guess I could use them. There's some inventory that's taken up. Okay, these can go. I need to go back to the sect and... First off, let's rest a little bit. And we are going to just trade out... Collect all. Tree Volt. Let's get rid of some stuff. Ditch that thing. Um, a lot of this can just go away. Like, the mood stuff doesn't need to stay in my inventory. I'm just going to probably sell those. Keep that stored. Same with the Wisp of Soul and the Nebulous Timber. Uh, this can stay. Let's get store that for sure. Capable of routing vast armies. Monster core. Earth ore should be stored. All right, we're gonna store all that stuff. What I want to do first is interact with you. What can I feed you? Oh, it's only G3. Okay, that means these things are truly just garbage. Truly just garbage. This thing's also pretty weakened. Alright, I think I'm going to go back to grinding out some levels here. We're real close. Real fucking close to being able to take the next level of uh, tasks. In order to do it, we'll need to... We don't do the monsters. We don't do the monster nest ones. Those suck. Um, I'm gonna grind out some of these tasks more. We can't do anything for quite some time. We have to be careful because this thing is gonna be broken for five months, and then once it's healed, we'll actually be able to do doing stuff. So I'm gonna keep doing the um, the quest grinding, and when I get some time in between quests, I'm probably gonna voyage up, and we'll come back to do these uh, land of the beyonds that we've sp spotted around. So. That's what I'll be doing. I'll bring you guys back once uh, we've made some progress. All right, so I was uh, running around doing some quests for our sect, and I came across a dead cultivator in one of the, um, the quests, and it dropped this ugly colored Taoist fruit. Um, it's, it said that he had it as like um, his Taoist seed or core, whatever, ripped from his body. So we got these two items. We got this, and then we also got a crumpled letter. So I'm going to check these out. So the fruit says you find an ugly, colorist, an ugly Taoist fruit on the body of the Heaven Chosen. There are dark, dark marks around it, and there's areas where it's been bitten clearly. Blah. Um, anyway, it's a fruit that he bit into, and it's something we should not trifle with, and there's a letter. So let's read the letter. Tired of getting insta-killed so often by strong enemies at the Immortal Tournament? Frustrated over how often your hard-earned Taoist fruit? Sage Tai and Bo's Talents Fruit is a high quality for a fair price, making it just the thing for Long Road. It will be sale for three months. Please stay tuned. So, I guess it was that Sage that poisoned him with his fake Taoist Fruit. The more we know. All right. Uh, I'm going to turn in some things here. We got an ultimate move. I'm excited for that. That'll be good to have. Cool. I, I don't mind having that in our inventory. Um, let's also drop off some of the things we have in our inventory now. We don't need these. Let's put that back. We'll keep everything else. Let's turn in our missions. All right. We're at 1,000 contribution again. We don't. We have blade fruit. Yay! That's good. And with that, I believe we can now challenge somebody to become an inner disciple. Let's plan who we want to challenge. Ideally, I'd want to be under a, a blade cultivator. So this guy's a blade cultivator. You are a sword cultivator. Spear. 
sword and blade. And then, okay, so we want the guy on the far left here, since he is all about the blade. And luckily, he's a true disciple who's quite weak. Oh, both of us are quite weak. This guy's going to die in four months. Yeah. So, uh, we'll try to take the place of Jai Jaiju. believe that's what we'll do. Let's do the promotion. Let's sign up. Sure. All right, the next month we'll have to do it. So, let's recuperate. Any other quests we can do? Unexpected monsters? No, no, no quests. Um, let's come up here and do this while we're here. 800 focus to break the seal. We don't have... Maybe I don't break the seal because we don't have a we don't have a an imp to be our our catch here. Here's what I am gonna do. I need to go to a city and repair our um shit. I need to repair our, our, our what's it called our artifact because it's really low. Uh, where's the teleport? Let's do let's do just a uh, we'll do the Yunmo teleport chart just because I can't actually afford to teleport my own fucking sect. I wish they didn't charge for the teleport. That seems weird to me. But I, I get it. I get it. Pair this. Repair. Can I enhance this? What does this do? And then you have solar panel. Enhance. Star pyrite, heavenly material. We have some of those and G4 forge quartz. All these are very interesting. Earthly aura into heavenly. Okay, so these are the different things for. Yes, okay. It's like having a, have, Earthly Aura is like the shitty breakthrough, right? Large amount, small amount, and enormous amount. All right. So now that we've repaired our artifact, I think we are good to take the fight to our sect members. Um, let's, what do I want to do for like two days? We'll just move around and kill some time this way. Skip to next month. Hey, he's spared his life. Sect Arena. Okay, here we go. Let's go. We're going to sign up for this elder. Since he has both his disciples dying. In Duel Dugao. This is a. This is an earlier fight. We have to become an inner disciple, and then we have to become... Because right now we're an initiate. Simply die, please. Okay. There's one. This guy is Origin 5. Okay, good. Good. I was worried we we're going to have to fight some uh, crazy high level people. We need to save that sword for the important fights. I can't be using it willy nilly since it does take heavenly material, which is not fun to get. Um, it's not awful to get, but it's still just not fun. All right, we want to take the bottom guy, because the top guy was a Heaven's Chosen. This true disciple cannot be deployed. Um, okay. Select Elder. Oh, I got to fight an Elder? I guess, okay, they're, they're healing. 
uh, we can't show ourselves. Any anyway, that was easier than I thought it would be. You got 500 back from the stay forth. You must hold the second law and say true to purpose, cultivate your mind, demonstrate the heart of the Tao. From now on, you are my true disciple. I should warn you, I can be harsh. Okay, he's inherited luck. We have a mentor. What do you, what do you need, mister? Uh, I just need the breath of soul formation. Sure, What's what the fuck is breath of soul formation? Oh, that's for the next stage. Yeah, good fucking luck with that. That's a rogue cultivator, too. Who's my master? Where is my master? What's our master's name? Sin Chu. Let's mark this guy. Is he here? He's not here. Do I know where he is? Well, whatever. That should give me more missions, right? Spirit Mines, Holy Springs, External Fair Traders, uh, Build Prestige. We already have the Monster Sweep mission, right? Yeah, we do. All right, I'm gonna keep grinding out these missions. We need to get... <laughs> this poor dude, he's just over here starving. Because no one wants to interact with him. I've got to feed him all this sacred grass. And he's only level fucking three, which is terrible. How do I get promoted again? I can become an elder. What level are the elders? There, is there a weak elder here? There is a weak elder. Why is there an elder that weak here? Oh, I could become a fucking grand elder eventually. Couldn't become a second elder unless she died. Oh, she's throwing up gang signs. All right, well, um, that's good progress we've made. What do I need to do now? Is this for... So I need that. What should I do? Yeah, I do. Are there any better manuals yet? Our manuals... Um, I've, been, I've not been happy with the selection here. There's not a lot of purple. I'd have to be more purple. How's our clan stats? Oh, we have no stability. Interesting. All right, well, I'm gonna just keep grinding out our quests. Um, what's happening? The silver moon rises and a flock of magpies from all over the world gather at the opposite end of the heavenly river. The swarm slowly uniting into a bridge that stretches across the distance until they meet up in the middle. A man and a woman steps onto the bridge from the different ends, making their way towards each other. After a while, as the moonlight stretches across the night sky, the pair of lovers reunite on the magpie bridge. Huh? Is this bird in the corner, Brother Magpie? He doesn't look any different than before, donning the Golden Crow's feather. I'll leave it for now. Maybe he will come see me later on. All right, well, it looks like we had some progress on that quest. I'm going to continue grinding out for our, uh, our sect to get some affinities up. Um, and I'll bring you guys back once I think we've had enough of grinding. And then I'll uh, work towards getting to the next cultivation stage. So uh, I'll bring you guys back then. See you soon. All right, we're back. And... Uh, I'm going to go ahead, I, I just did this month's missions, and I have some free time, so we're going to go and try to do um, the land of beyond here. I know I said I was going to wait a little bit until we had our imp or our uh, guardian imp back, but I don't mind taking a little bit of a risk here. It's not too bad. Um, I also do want to heal up a little bit, though. We'll use our G4 elixirs here. Let's get full health. We have our artifact, so that, that should provide us enough damage. I don't think we'll have too much issue with this array core. Yeah. Not too much of a problem here. Right, let's just do this real fast, so we'll summon our guy.
pretty chill what we're currently doing. Right. Nice. And that gives us a large amount of energy into this map to locate mythical beasts. 5,000 spirit stone for the South Yunmo map. What the fuck does this do? What does this mean? I have no idea. Okay. Is it, is it winter now? I just saw some... I think it's winter. We have three months until our thing. Let's, let's put some spirit stones into this map that we got and let's see how this works. Will you town east? Let's come on down. What was the point of this? Um, sure, we'll spar with you, lady. You do be... You're, I'm gonna one-tap you. Thanks for visiting. pretty strong. Are you a blade cultivator? No. You've kind of shitty affinities. I guess your fist's not too bad. I'll decline, though. Um, disagree. Sure. Shajatar is in the land of the beginning, so we'll have to go there. Land of beginning is... that's origin. That's, that's for the shitty one. God damn it. I'm sick of it. Do I have to infuse this again? Well, we're in the right spot. Feng Shui. There we go. We found it. You've been trudging through the wilderness for many days. Suddenly a distance you can see someone lying prostrate on the ground. You hurry over to take a close look. closer look. Turns out to be a dead body. You take the items lying on the ground beside it. After all, you won't be using them again. You want to live. Okay, so that was a different event. I was concerned. Just like a whole thing. Then we gotta fight Ninetales. The, the fox lady. I do not like how they gave the fox uh, boo physics. I don't like how they, those move. Okay. Come on, China. Be better. deal with these things. I guess I just gotta like, kind of ignore them, right? And go forward. Please don't kiss me. I don't need your love. Trying not to get our, uh, our sword too hurt it's from some of these engagements whenever I can. All right. I got a mine technique. I got a special wind technique. I got nether water, which will be good. We now have one of them. And copper ancient sand. So that nether water is what we need to upgrade, right? Yes. 
Cool. Cool. So we just need to do five more of those? Seems doable. Seems doable. Um, let's... First off, while I'm in this town, let's sell some shit that I don't need. Thank you, Jingwei. Uh, keep that blade technique. I do not want to get rid of that. Ditch all the non-blade ones. We will stash our earthly materials. We'll stash the nether water. Let's put all these mood things up. And we'll take all of these bad things I have. I'm also going to have four more. I don't need these anymore, most likely. Well, let's also sell both of those, and we'll sell one of these things. Okay, those are gone. We don't ever end up using these, so they can go away. Let's also scroll all the way down. We will sell these feng shui diagrams. We'll sell these things we can't use, and we'll sell that. And these cheap garbage things we have on us. All the price two stuffs are tier one, and so we don't need those. Probably don't even need the price fives. Yeah, Hua Feng, anything price five can go to. Okay, these are for Yun Mo and Everfrost. There we go. G5, G4. We want G2 and G3. Actually, G2 and G1. I'm not going to take any G3 stuff. Maybe the Soul Jades, because those are those are better, but... Alright, looks like we're pretty good on what we have. So sell that. That's 55,000. We are wealthy. It's just a fact. Um, let us teleport back to our sect. Let's rest up for the day. And I'm going to do another round of missions. Oh, I can do more stuff now. So, like, this is something I want to do. Awesome, awesome. This is so much good. So much better for us. We can actually get a lot of money um, doing these things now. Um, that one and that one. All right, cool. I'm going to go grind out some more sec points. I'm going to bring you guys back whenever we're ready to go to the next area to do the thing. Um, I don't think we have any good manuals yet. We're starting to get some golds appearing. If I get a gold motion, or not a gold, purple. I, I'm, I'm colorblind, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out for any good manuals that might pop up in here. Like, see, there's a purple or a, a level 5 one, but our 5 one's better. So, keeping my eye out for any manuals that might be really good for us to have. Cough, cough, this one right here. Um, six months? We might be snagging that. Or I might hold off since we're not yet at that stage. And I think we also already have some good stuff for our next evolution. So, yeah, I'm going to run around, do some grinding, and I'll bring you guys back once we're ready to go and fight another boss. So, I'll see you all then. I was out here uh, grinding out some quests for our sect, and uh, this guy up here. This is the guy that was sold that poisonous fruit um, that killed one of, the, one of the disciples in one of our, uh, our monster lairs. And so we're going to go and interrogate him. Huh? This isn't the sage Tyanbyo everyone's talking about, is it? What's the fortune teller like him doing selling fruit all of a sudden? Are you deaf or blind? That's Taoist fruit. That's it, that is. It's usually only for top four in the immortal tournament who can get them. They're incredibly valuable. What? How does some good-for-nothing fortune teller get that many valuable items? It's some kind of scam for sure. Not necessarily. I've heard people say that this sage might look crazy, but he has no small amount of influence. This might be connected in some way with the Taoist mind pavilion holding the immortal tournament. Huh, so that's it. Why don't we go take a closer look then? Watch the scene for some time. They see many cultivators take out the spirit stones, complete with each of other for the sage's tine bow's taoist fruit. It does not take long for sage tine bow to recognize you, after which he insists, You, sir, exude the valor of one who might also be heaven chosen. Why not take advantage of this opportunity and buy a taoist fruit? That would go a long way towards your training later. I will refuse. Hmm, a pity. That's a real pity. Sage tine bow lowers his head as he, if in deep thought. How dare you impersonate Tian Bo? I will make sure this is the last thing you do, says Ta Sage Tian Chun. Right at that moment, a figure flies from the distance with a murderous look in his eyes. They strike a blow right at Sage Tian Bo's. Is it, is it Shine Bo? Tian? I don't know. His vitals. 
He lets himself out another worldly burst of energy to counter the attack. Sand and stone fly around the scene, non for scatter. Chien Bo is at a disadvantage with a few moves. Just as he turns to escape, Chien Jun puts down a seal of 100 feet. Uh, Shan, Shan, Shan Bo appears to be in mortal danger and pleased with you. Sir, if you were to save my life, I'd be eternally grateful. Whoosh! You hear wind blowing out, blowing at your ears as Sage Chien Bo throws countless flags in the sky with one hand. Uh, with the other hand, which condenses shape another bear around you. You should have never walked outside today. Mwahaha. Seems he wants to absorb your energy. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Defeat my opponent. Oh my god. Come back here, please. God, I'm getting absolutely fucking cooked by this guy. Can I run? I can't run. Shit. Okay, we need to use our healing. What's our most healing we can get? Also, these things home me from across the fucking map. Yeah, I just gotta stay by him. Oh my god, he killed me. You think you can stop me with a puny bear like this? Don't make me laugh. Fine, snap, temple scum. How dare you pretend to be a Taoist? My pavilion members to tarnish reputation. Prepare to die. Holy shit. You're heavily wounded and need treatment as soon as possible, but I must wipe out the remnants first and can't stay here. Farewell. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, guy. <laughs> Oh my god. The child of Tian Xuan dares to be so reckless. I will tear you apart when the priestess emerges from the Mind Snap Temple. No sooner are the words spoken than a group of black robed figures appear, and before you can react, move into a power formation around Sage Chan Bo, blocking Tian Xuan's attack and then carrying Tian Bo's body off without a trace. Dot to dot. Damn, they got away. Next time we meet, they shall die without burial. We're a little hurt. The moon is bright and the stars are few in the desolate area. Two black rope people. Uh, we are going to lie in wait and go fucking heal before we even get back over here. Can I come back? Okay. So... Huh, okay. Well, back to doing my, my quests. I'll bring you back if we have any more encounters with those two. They, they that, that guy absolutely cooked me. Yeah, I don't do good against those long-range guys that can just absolutely stay the distance from us and do much damage. It also doesn't help that we don't have the best auto, like, left-click attack. When we get to the next level, us having uh, the next level of attack will be really good. Plus, we um, did not have our full kit up with our our minion in a uh, in death mode for one more month. Unfortunate timing for me there, but oh well, it is what it is. Anywho, with that, I'm gonna finish this round of quests, and then I think we'll um, we'll do some grinding. We'll do some well, not grinding. We'll go and get our uh, our cultivation resources. Probably um, probably also take a look at Xi, Xi Ching's determination that quest line. And see what we can do. Why are you dodging me? Uh, sorry, I mixed up with you with someone else. You look familiar. I'm gonna apologize. Let's. let's... As Uma walks on the path, the beast jumps out from the side and pounces on her. Suddenly, a black robe person rushes forward and engages the beast before finally slaying it. Hardly has the black robe person stood still before he collapsed to the ground. His veil is dark covered in dark red. You, it's you, the one who followed me, right? Go. This is the beast raised by our temple. They want to kill you and snatch your talus mine. Go. The black robe person's eyes are blurred, and he has lost his consciousness out of heavily injury. The woman raises his veil with her shivering hand. It's you indeed. What up, dude? Level seven. Level eight. Okay. They wait until your talus mine matured, and they sent me to kill you and snatch your talus mine. I am a loser. I knew this day would come, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't forget you after I met you in Hua Feng back then. Go. You're too strong. I can't protect you. 
This dude's 266. She's 1,200. <laughs> She's old. You old bitty. The man is too heavily injured and passes out. The woman holds him in her arms and embraces him tightly. Hopefully this woman will be safe from now on. I guess that's what we missed. Oh. Okay. Whew. We exercised her. Okay, cool. Those quests all can be either really easy or really fucking awful, depending on uh, how lucky you get. It looks like we got good luck. So good to see that. Um, back at the treasure pavilion, I've bought out most of the stuff. Burning Moonfire. That's cool. I'm pretty sure we might need that for the quest line with the, um, the demons down there in, in the south. Um, regardless, I'm going to get these fruits in my belly. The day when all of our stuff is over 100, I will be just so happy. Like, fire is almost there. Water is, like, right there. And then earth is... Oh, nice. Um, and our palm is so low. Wow, that's really... We're, we are probably super weak to palm techniques. Holy cow. Yeah, it increases your chance to neutralize them. Hmm. Also, these quests that we're grinding out, they're making our manuals slowly get better. You see how we now have purple manuals appearing? Based on our prestige, I really got to get our prestige up super high. I want the best manuals available for my sect, especially when we get to the next level, like this ultimate here. Whew. And like even further on, we'll get even better stuff. It's just, it's all good. It's all good. There's no reason I shouldn't. Um, really pursue those. All right, so we don't have anything we can really do right now. Um, we cleared out one of the land of beyonds that was right here. There's another one down here. Let's clear this out. Do these respawn? I just got a question. And there's a stairway to heaven right there. Two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there are five. I wonder if this is going to give me the same stuff. Break the seal. What is burning me right now? Okay, it looks like we're gonna continuously take damage here, so I need to do this fast. This sword array is so good. So good. Alright, so this should be... East Hunyo. How is our artifacts durability looking right now? 68. So we got some more time. East Hunyo. Let's take a look at this. Let's me to go over here. East of Moyang Sect. Moyang Sect is our like sworn enemies. So let's go to the city here and let's recuperate before we go all the way over there. I see that mushroom man over there, but we're gonna leave him alone because I fucking hate the mushroom man. Sure, take it. Alright. It's always worth it to spar with these guys. I also need to heal my minion now that I think about it. Got his ass! I will take my skill points, please. 
Please and thank you. Keep cultivating, uh, bear the corpse, have some decency, and thank you. Sure. Let us spar. Oh, she's kicking my ass. She is not my level. Ah, take those two damage. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine when someone like that beats us, because I think she's level six. Yes. Understandable. No shame in losing to someone who's a level above you in cultivation. Okay, you fixed your problem. You don't have a martial arts manual. Okay, we need to do this, because this will actually give us... A, okay, we're going to do this. The problem is... Okay, cool. It lets, me, it lets me actually heal my imp. I was worried I wouldn't get the chance to heal him. Get up! We got people to fight. Let's use the G6 stuff. Get our health up again. We'll use our G6 Unity Elixir. And we'll go do it. So this is the Palm guy. We get to see how much damage they do. Compared to our damage. The only thing about the Palm moves is that a lot of them are like ch charge up and channel. She's also going to just clear this place because I think she's a higher level cultivation than us. Which is beautiful. Look, you see how she just like charge up her moves to use them? Not a fan. Not a fan. Skills here too. This is good. I feel like looks pretty cool though. The uh, big attack. See, the thing is, whenever you see like really strong AI like this lady that we have in our group right now, it makes me think like, would I be stronger if I had the same build? Like, I have no idea. But it's also hard because while the blade skills are like do less damage, our our staying power, which is with the sustain in our kit, is so strong. It's quite absurd, actually. But we're gonna let her just handle these two guys, because I don't even need to get involved here. We will, though, because I want XP. Jesus Christ, that was a slaughter. All right, what do we get? She decided to give it to me, but it's it's a it's a fucking palm skill. All that for a palm skill? Or a finger skill? A finger skill, really? Really? Is it at least a good one? Oh no, we're not going to the assault. I'm I'm upset now. Is it at least a good one? That's not too bad. That's pretty sick, actually. Do I do it? Is it, is it? Does that stop on first enemy hit? It does. 
unsealed meridians. But we don't sustain. Yeah, I, I, I'm not trading away my entire sustain. There's a there's some passives that give you really good sustain. Uh, let me just sell these things that I have. That's so sad. I was so excited for that to be like really good for us. Also, the music has disappeared, and whenever you notice the music gone, it gets really uh, it's back. <laughs> oh, please don't change, Tale of Immortal. Please don't change. Uh, we are not doing that. Anything cool? Got a fire kit. There's a blade skill. Fist movement technique. Sword movement technique. That's probably like hop on a sword and ride it. And then we got other stuff up here. All right, I need to go up to this sect by uh, Mo Yang. Thank you, friends. I am not trying to attack whatever sect this is. I have returned. Hello, Mr. Brother Magpie. I succeeded. She is willing to mate with me. This is all thanks to you. I don't see you wearing a feather of the golden crow. Yes, yes. When I flew to the gathering spot wearing my feather, every magpie gave me a look of curiosity, especially her. It was the first time looking at me, but I could feel interest and shock in her eyes. Weirdly enough, I did not feel shame. I knew that the beauty of the feather is not mine, but I hope that she understood my intentions. But then after a moment, with the gritted teeth, I threw the feather in the sky with a burst into a dazzling light that disappeared. I decided to throw the health... Throw the helve after the hatchet and confess to her. I thought it would be my last time attending the matchmaking party anyway. If she chose another magpie, I will leave and never go back. But when I raised my eyes to meet hers, they were full. Of, they were smiling and full of mirth. She told me she thought I was brother, pretty cute. Let's go, brother magpie! <laughs> I was overwhelmed with happiness that night. Not only did it win her heart, even Madam Weaver was impressed with, my, with me. She petted my head and... Enough, enough. You're too chatty. I get your point already. Let brother magpie brag. Mm hmm. This love knot was gifted to me by Madame Weather. It's the same as the one gifted to the cow herd. I heard that if you give it to your loved one, it will keep them protected at all times. I shall give this to you. Although it does not make up for even a fraction of my gratitude, blessing upon you, I shall get going now. My love awaits. Goodbye. Okay, so we need to find love. Next quest. Find love. Can we do it? There's a question mark here. Oh, it's monkey. Macaw. So land beyonds. We've got a couple of them. Let's use feng shui. Fight me, demons. Oh, it's this bitch again. Okay. The stun locking ability of this lady is crazy. I might I might get her just so we can have her for um the crazy disciple dude for his battles. Never mind. I don't know I don't want her anyway. You can have... So it looks like if you go to the same places, they give you the same stuff. So now we have a second of the purification thing, so that's cool. Um, but we got to remember we don't need to go down to the land of the beyonds in the south over here. Looks like they move every time you find one, so that can be confusing. We got three right here. Maybe I do one of each. Four of these. All right, we're going to do these things. I guarantee I don't have enough focus here. What's up here? To 
it mean? Oh, it's a fox hill. You haven't seen water in many days. Okay. Um, is there a town near me? There is a town. We'll be back. Let us rest. Let's go to this land beyond. Uh, this is, this is, okay, before I do this, this is a land beyond, right? Okay. I'm so worried it's going to be like the higher tier ones. I would just get slaughtered. Especially this one that fucking burns, dude. Like, why is this burning me? I'm really not equipped to deal with this kind of thing. Five damage every time I take some uh, some burn damage here. Not cool. Okay. Go to the next one. Where's the next one? Next one's up there. So back to town, then we go to the other one. Uh, dual cultivate, sure. My goal here is to get all of these things. Um, all the maps, and then we can just go in the next episode and hunt down every single enemy. And we're not going to take part in these assaults until uh, we progress a little bit. How is our sword? 66%, that's not bad. Okay, 800 should be Atlanta Beyond. Let's use our sword on this one. Okay, so another land beyond up there. One, two, and three. Let's do this one. I don't think I have enough. That one's just spawned, so I think like that's one we already have done. Let's go to the Ching Su town. And we'll hit the other one, this one right close by to it. Or she's back. What do you got for me? You gonna give me some rocks? Normally when I come here, he gives me rocks. He's going to give me rocks. Oh, no. He gave me something. Another water. 
Cool, I think I have one in my inventory for one of those. How are we doing in terms of this, by the way? We have Ruby Coral. We got Water Purification. We're missing Cobb, Omnipresence, and Sunflame. I think I can buy a Sunflame from the sect if I really need it. Um, obviously, that's not ideal, but it is an option. Why is everything so muted right now? Okay. Weird audio bugs in this region. The man is drunk as, as a lord in the tavern. In front of him are four, empty, four or five empty jars. He can barely open his eyes, but once he still, one can still tell the worries and sadness from his eyes. Are you here? Come drink with me. Yeah, let's drink. He puts a fruit in each of the two bowls and pours alcohol until they are full. He drinks up a bowl himself and then pushes the other bowl full of oily green alcohol in front of you. That's it. Drink up. We drink. When the alcohol down your throat, you feel a hot heat at the bottom of your belly and then endless stamina emanating from it. Okay. This fruit, it's a rare perk. I went to great lengths to get it. It's so valuable. It tastes great, huh? And with that, he says, he drops the table and sets on the table and falls asleep. Okay. We've made a friend. I've never, you know, these fortuitous encounters at the bars where, like, you meet someone, like, you, you go in and, like, some random person just like, drink up, buddy. I think I've done, never had that happen at a bar. Generally, people don't, aren't that friendly. Um, but oh well. That's, that's just life. All right, Land of Beyond. We need to do this one and then I think this one, right? Skip me to the next month. Uh, your master is glamorous, but it's all a big act. Who are you? Hook off. That's my master you're talking about. Um. Sure, send him out again. I think I'm going to recall this one team that's doing... um. For cultivation materials. I don't think I need this anymore. We're going to send you out for wisdom. Let's also use up all these feng shui textbooks and things that we have. Lightning's starting to get up there. Well, it's not, not as close as Wind Fist or uh, Blade, but not too bad for our Lightning Root. All right, we're going to use the sword again here. Pickens. Oh, God damn it. It's a South Yunmo map. Oh, hello. Taoist Mime Villain Mystery Man. So, right near here. Hmm. Based on my feng shui, I fear there is no mistake. You walk around a lonely path and suddenly hear a few black robed people whispering nearby. They seem not to have noticed you. I feel like it's a bad thing. Ignore them. Let's try it. Always feels like a bad idea to like do what I'm currently doing. Ah, you hide in darkness and watch them, so you soon discover these people are digging up something at a cliff tomb. A moment later, the black rope pulled out several bodies, and you keep at your distance, cannot see the bodies' faces properly. You can only tell that they are indeed dead. What an abhorrent crime to do this to a heaven chosen. They used to wait until we were occupied to steal a few long dead bodies of the Heaven Chosen. I never thought they would do it so brazen as to do it in, be so brazen as to do it in broad daylight. The Mindset Temple has been so wild recently. There might be powerful beings in there. Thou needn't say that much. This is a troubled area. Hurry up and deal with the dark burden. 
dark breath of the bodies, lest more of trouble be invited. Yes, left protector. Ha ha ha, what a great talus mine pavilion. You dug up the bodies of the heaven chosen and forged talus fruit this way. This way, uh, so many torment cultivators, so many hearts to punish. Oh dear, who would have thought that an immortal tournament organizer and a talus mine pavilion admired by many no less would be some scourge tormenting people across the world? Tsk, tsk, tsk. If word of this got out, mind snap temple. The moment the black robe people take care of the bodies, more black robe people appear on the cliff. Both draw the weapons, and a fight appears to be breaking out. Ooh, we are in the presence of greatness, aren't we? Let me see who moves with such anger. Bitter fly spirit. It's you, says Sage Tian Chun. Oh, it's you, little soon. It's been so long. Have you missed me? Enough of your shamelessness, wench. No, oh, come on now. How could you be so cold? I've always been worried about my little Jun. You'll, you'll pay for this with your life. The figures lunge at each other up from above and uh, below the cliff. They fiercely lock into each other. Upon seeing this, the black robe figures on the cliff jump down one by one, boring into the black robe figures below. We'll keep watch. You have watched long enough, Cultivator, and now it's time to act. The situation is dire, and I hope you will not listen to any slander. The laws of the land must be upheld, and you must help me eliminate this wretched traitor. Of course, I can take care of the traitor myself, but it is the others in combat with my disciples who I need your help with. We will help the Taoist mine. Because they seem to be the good ones. Mind snap just sounds bad. You really disappointed me, I'm afraid. I have to send my subordinates to handle you. Excuse me, good sir. I'm so slow! God. You're not bad. I'll leave you in one piece and save our duel for another day. I'm truly indebted to you for your assistance to all of us. Here is a secret letter. If you follow us instructions, it will lead you to good luck. I have a pressing matter to attend and must leave you now. Secret letter, you say? I believe we were returning and we need to go to this land of beyond, right? So let's come back over here. Thank you, Lu Lushu. So much been going on. We got to help brother. We got to... <laughs> What's his fucking name? Uh, brother Magpie. We got to see him get laid. Happy about that. We have this interesting, like, Mind Snap Temple stuff going on, and we're going to get the last of our, hopefully last of our, um, maps to start working towards the next... God damn it. I've heard an important ma member of the Talus Mind Pavilion is lurking nearby. We could capture him and take him to the Priestess. She'll surely reward us for capturing a member of our arch enemy. Reward? I'm not counting on that. You're a newcomer here and don't know the Priestess well. If she's pleased, she'll reward us greatly. Well, then let's go capture the Talus Mind Pavilion scum. With that said, they walk away. They're plotting something. We will, of course, follow them. You follow them, and before long you see two black robe persons attacking another man. The black robe persons are quite strong, and the attacked man is soon knocked to the ground. Oh, fuck. If they can beat him, they're going to kick my ass. Who are you? I've never made any enemy before. Why do you attack me? He, stop your little t your little play. Take out your black robe and put it on. I found out all your shabby secrets. That Tianbo is a simple clown himself. No wonder the Talos Mime Pavilion people just followed suit. Who's here? Two black robe persons look around, flustered. The man knocks the ground, takes a chance, to, and escapes. Haha, ha, that, that bitter fly bitch just sent you two to catch me? I can hold off a dozen clowns like you. How dare you? I knew a talus mind pavilion scum were all good tricksters. Go after him. The two black robe persons hurry after him and soon disappear into the distance. Okay. I just want to get along with my cultivation. Uh, don't mind me. I'm going to be over here doing my thing. That should be good. And that's one. West Yunmo. I've got everything except for north, I think. All right, let's get back to my sect, and we're going to call the episode for here. And I think next episode's going to be all about getting us um, 
getting the stuff we need for the next level of cultivation. That will be our focus, as well as uh, maybe we can go and do some of these quests that we have. We also haven't opened up um, this thing that we have. Not the Aquas Invitation, the Secret Letter. Slay the evil to uphold the justice. Half all the Ptolemies are wiped out half a year later. I thank you. I will thank you in person. Okay. And then we have our four things here. Hmm. They seem to be different types of things here. Which ones are available for sale? In our so we have ruby coral, which we already have, and we already have that. So everything that we can potentially buy is already in our for sale. We also have refreshed our spirit fruit, which means I need to probably grind out some more quests. Yes. All right, so I think I'm going to call this one here. I'm going to grind out some quests, and in the next episode we'll be back and ready to do some hunting. Um, but until then... Um, I've been Sean, this is Blue Screeners, and I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later!